Okay, so we made a GE90 engine that's literally just a plane. Okay, we are uh, sinking. Oh, no, no, no. Now, this is undeniably the strongest airplane in the world, the 777, with a GE90 engine that can, you know, deliver a power of almost 100,000 pound feet of thrust. And so it's very tempting to use these extremely strong engines to tune some airplanes. We've tuned the 737 and the A340. But a lot of you guys have been asking me, what if you make a plane that's just the GE90, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but I've done it anyway. And I shall call you, hmm, you know, hmm. Okay, so we made a GE90 engine that's literally just a plane. It's got a wing and it's got a tail section with a vertical stabilizer, all of which work that's controlled by the yokes right here that sit on top. Now we've kind of used a 737 cockpit right here, which still has a throttle, but only one engine works of course because because guess what sir we only have one engine and that is the ge90 and we sit on top of it we can really see how huge these engines are well this engine um and i wonder how it flies uh you know see we don't weigh a lot also we don't have a lot of fuel that we actually we have we've got a flight time of three hours on this thing that's actually not bad though this is a 737 wing that's been scaled down quite a lot i wonder how this airplane flies so let's go full power yep just like that i can put out some of those flaps right here let's put the flaps to like five as you can see they come down nicely and we can release the brakes we can see ninety thousand pounds of thrust is being added in to our flight model and we're going and we're off Yes, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we have a bit of a um, problem. Holy moly, this plane is quick. And it's probably quite scary. Main problem is that uh, these pilots definitely will suffer from the wind just coming against us. But this is uh, this is beautiful. Uh, right, we can fly this thing anywhere. No, genuinely, I mean, look at this. Now, I'm really glad that this engine is already turned on. Why? Because this airplane is just not able to turn on the engine on its own because we don't have an APU that's able to power it. So we'd have to, like, hand start this thing. Also, climbing on top, which would, that would be very interesting. Um, the pilots are not wearing seat belts, so I think they're gonna die. And also, of course, we have no instruments or literally anything. We fly this airplane by faith, and that's actually kind of cool, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, go for power again. Uh, flaps two and uh, pull up. Come on. Yes, look at this. This is all. This is great. Pull up right there. That is very, very much possible. But, you know, flying this airplane is really weird from the cockpit it's like it's it is very much basic flying you know without any instruments whatsoever i really wonder whether i can even fly this airplane i i, I think it's crazy how this thing actually flies i want to see if i can land this i mean we've got no sound all we can definitely would hear is just a lot of wind but hey we've got great visibility we can look behind we can see right over the wing this is no different than a cessna but it's got the most strongest engine in the world um, let's land this. Right. And this is where it gets, I guess, a bit complicated. Because, oh, actually, maybe not. We really fly this airplane by feel. And this is actually, <laughs> maybe I can suggest flying this plane for anyone who's learning. Because you look outside and you trust your instinct or something like that. I don't know if we're too fast or too high or... I have no idea. So, let's go ahead and put the flaps down all the way, 40 degrees. Put out some spoilers right here, because I feel like we're fast. And that's really just a feeling. All we see is our yoke, our flight controls. And so, here we are coming in for a landing. Let's hope it's going to be... Oh, we're just way too fast, but there's no way of figuring that out. Let's try to land this thing. Come on. Yeah. Oh, we've killed ourselves. <laughs> By the way, one thing I will mention is that you don't have to worry about the landing gear being up or anything because it can't, we can't, like, where would you retract it? There's just no way to retract the landing gear, so it always uh, stays out. Um, okay, here we are, coming in for a landing. This looks a lot better now. It's probably very scary. Uh, okay, look at this, coming down. Oh! Oh, God! Ah! All right, all well, all's well, all's well. Let's go ahead and stop this. And it's working, it's working. We've got strong reverse thrust here on this plane. I mean, half the plane is reverse thrust. We've made something insanely powerful. Isn't that nice? Mm. And good thing is, we can just take off immediately right away. With the rest of the runway available, I think this is like no problem, this airplane. Look at this. <laughs> 
Now, one thing... Yeah, well, one thing I was about to put out the landing gear. Doesn't work. We put out the flaps. One thing is that we can, of course, climb extremely quickly. And yes, this airplane is able to still use thrust, even at high altitudes. But the problem is that we've now run out of fuel. Um, but you definitely need oxygen max at altitudes like this, because you would actually just suffocate. Hey, that's nice. All right, so still landing at a runway that's a little bit shorter. It's right in front of us. I think the problem is that this engine is just so powerful that even at idle, it produces a lot of thrust. So that it's really hard to slow down. We're now at 180 knots, and we really have to use all the spoilers to somehow still be able to approach. Something else we could do, though, is put out reverse thrust mid-flight because it actually works now, which is actually a very big help. Great. I think flying this airplane in VR would be quite interesting. It's like genuinely scary, don't you think? Kind of like a motorcycle version of a plane, really. So here it is, coming in for a landing. It takes a lot of skill to fly this bad boy. Here we go, here we go. We're coming in. Let's do it smoothly. That wasn't smooth at all. Let's see if we can stop. Come on, please, 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 please. Yes! Look at this. This is the plane of my dreams! <laughs> Great. Uh, now, I can imagine that there's a few issues sometimes. After all, there's a reason why airliner windows are quite a few centimeters thick. I could imagine that a bird strike would be very uncomfortable. And we've lost our, in oh, we've lost our engine. We can uh, return, maybe. It's a problem that we've got a lot of drag now coming from that engine, right? So, uh, yeah, and like crashing this is probably very uncomfortable. Uh, hey, I mean, we could actually just jump off. Hey, that would be an idea. Just jump off at this speed before your airplane, like, hits the water. That's actually perfect. Look at this. We can jump off now. And this, uh, this is this. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Okay, we are uh, sinking. Oh, no, 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 poor, no. Save the pilot. Oh, no, we're good. Just uh, jump off now. This is an extremely stupid idea. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe it was a, maybe it's a brilliant idea. I like the, you know, it's all fun and games until you end up in Toronto airport though. But other than that, this is great. The power of this thing is absolutely insane. And you would definitely not be able to breathe with all that air coming toward you. But yeah, you should build this. I mean, GE90 engine is basically just $30 million. Yeah, you could buy a whole 737 for that. Okay, maybe with the pricing, that would be a smart idea. But you could at least make a rocket. That is great to know. So, um, yeah. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. <laughs> and a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.